everyone. Welcome to the show. It is Tuesday, February 28th, 2012. Was the camera on me when I was adjusting that button? Because it looked and like... And you were absentmindedly like an old man singing a really dirty song. And I don't even <laughs> think that you noticed. I was playing with my cardigan and singing a dirty song. Is that what you call it? Yeah. The well, cardigan? <laughs> the cardigan. Yeah, sorry. I was adjusting. There's a button right there. So... I was adjusting that. Was the mouse out of the house? Okay, uh, snowmageddon. Terrible. Did Again. this happen? Well, no, they're saying that tonight uh, there's a snowfall warning in effect for Vancouver for higher elevations, up to 15 centimeters of snow starting this afternoon, going into tonight. It's supposed to change to rain tomorrow, but calling for 15 centimeters. How many times have we issued the snowmageddon this year? We've had it so many times and nothing's happened. One time it was true. I think it's like 10 times now. We've yeah. probably, we've declared Snowmageddon. We've shown Although this you video. you were right last, was and it last nothing. week? Last Friday, remember? You were right. You said it was going to snow and yeah, it snowed on true. Friday. Look at how beautiful it is out there you right now. You know what, now. though, Mike? It has that kind of calmness. Yeah, that, that it gets high before sky. The snow. They might actually be right, but I predict 10 snowflakes and everybody freaks, right? We shall see what happens, but uh, just prepare, people. Remember, put the summer slicks on the rear-wheel drive sports car and get out there and have some fun. You talking to me? Okay, yes, so uh, the Canucks. It's tradesies time, as I like to call what it. What happened? Yesterday Hodgson. when we... Well, when we did the show, when we were starting it, and we did all this stuff, and we were talking to each other, they had made one sort of inconsequential, not in inconsequential for the Canucks, but they just gave up a couple of fourth-rounders mm -hmm. for Sammy Paulson. No big deal. Just as we were wrapping up the show yesterday, the blockbuster, the one trade, not... It wasn't a blockbuster trade, but it was, it was definitely the biggest trade of the day in the yeah. NHL. Uh, Cody Hodgson for a couple of Buffalo Sabres. Cassian and, and I think I pronounce it Gagnani. Uh, nah. Something like that. Uh, okay, he's Cassian is the one I keep on hearing about. So tell me about this little fella. He's a young guy, 21 years old. Uh, apparently, he's got a big upside. Don't know how much impact oh he's going to have Oh, my God, he looks now. like a goon, hey? But he, he looks like a good Canadian kid. He can score, and he's also known for oh, doing boy. things like this. See, this is what I've heard about him, that he's a fighter. Yeah, he's a big boy. He's six foot four, 200, and I've heard between 15 and 230 pounds. Uh, so he's not a small lad. But he can score and fight? Yeah. Uh, so he's bringing something to the Canucks that we don't really have right now. We don't so have a fighter. I miss Hodgson, and there was some footage yesterday of Cody Hodgson saying goodbye to Alex. Burr. Burr is my fave. And don't be sad, Burr. Cody, well, the Burr I looked hurt a, you. Burr looked a little sad, but Cody looked like it's it's hard on well, these guys. Well, for, for, I was thinking about Hodgson. I mean, he almost won the Stanley Cup with yeah. this team. Who knows what'll happen this year? I'm not gonna say anything because I don't want to jinx them, but it's looking pretty darn if good. Gonna We're go. gonna go on that well, road and, again. And Cody, I think, you know, they always make this adjustment uh, being professional athletes and everything. He's a young guy, doesn't have a lot of family to move. He's closer to his family in Ontario. So I think at the end of the day, he's gonna get more playing time, all that other stuff. Uh, but but we imagine, are all Canucks, Mike. Imagine the other side of it. Uh, Cassie and coming into Vancouver, a Stanley Cup contender. Dude must be psyched. Dope. And uh, all three of them, Paulson, uh, Gagnani, and um, uh, Cassian, will be playing tonight for the Canucks in Phoenix. Cassian is wearing, guess which number what he's number? wearing? What number? Number nine, Cody Hodgson's old number. He's whoa, just sliding whoa, into his jersey. Whoa, 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 He's taking over everything. They're going to have to stretch no it out a little bit on that one, huh? No okay. foreplay. Right More into the jersey. Mike, let's talk about the Real Housewives, because the Real Housewives of Vancouver, in case you didn't know, we're getting the Real Housewives here in our city. And so the ladies so were announced today. <laughs> the names were revealed. Yes, one of my best friends is one of the housewives. Mary Zilba, there she was. There she was. Uh, you've met her on our show before. She is amazing. She is fantastic. She is the nice one. Okay. She's on the far right. Right. I'm actually friends with uh, most of them, but Mary is one of my BFFs, and uh, you can watch it on Slice. It's going to be airing in April, so stay tuned. Will I know anyone that's in some of the episodes? Yes, I'm in a few, I'm told. Because you know what? Really? Are you allowed to say that? I'm allowed to say that. I'm just not allowed to tell you what happened, but I will tell you, if somebody messes with my BFFs, this mouth does not stay shut. Are you the real housewife in New Jersey flipping the table? Oh, yeah. I'm going to... Pull out the Jersey. tablecloth. I just spat. That was like not ladylike. Uh, what, in the housewives? <laughs> no, or? no, no, oh, I'm joking. Here. Oh, okay. I'm joking. No, 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 but make sure you stay tuned. It's on Slice. Uh, I 
think we have a segment with Mary Zilba on the show tomorrow. I am one of those people that I don't know that I want to watch it, but I'm going to watch You're going it for to. sure. Well, you kind of have You're going to, right? To. And it's Vancouver. It's a small town, so we'll probably everybody is at least a couple of degrees removed from one of the housewives. Mm -hmm. So it will be interesting to see how it all plays Let out. Let the games won't begin. It? I say, okay, so The Bachelor is the other show that people won't admit they love, but everybody. Where watches. does that dude get his clothing? Like, Why does he wear his hair like that? I'm no no fashionista. Fashionista. I'm not some dandy. Someone has to help me dress. But he was every wearing day. a lady's coat last night. But he was wearing this weird camel coat. He has the worst shirts. He like his hair's a hot mess. What the? Heck? Okay. And the other thing is, Bachelor Ben. Uh, well, he's been more on it because he's uh, been warned by he's so getting many played. people. He's getting played. Don't hate the player, hate the game, but he's been warned about Courtney so many times. Let's have a look at the crazy one that he has kept on the show. It's crazy. Kept her again last night. How many times do the other crazy girls have to say that she's the craziest of them all before he kind of And they almost got into a couple of actual couple fights last night. And I have to say, on The Bachelor, like it sounded lost too. That's the first time I've seen a potential couple actually have a spat. Yeah. Now, when you're in the honeymoon phase and you're already fighting about personality flaws, maybe you should think that maybe all the warnings are right. He got suckered. He got played. She's because skinny. She took off her shirt. She's she skinny dipped or dap? Skinny dipped? Skinny, skinny dipped. dipped. That dipped. seems awkward. Skinny dap sounds they, better. They, went skinny they skinny dapped together. They went skinny dipping. Uh, and he just, all of a sudden, he was like, they, 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 well, most they guys saw would be. a naked girl. Okay, uh, and, uh, I'm not like that. <laughs> You're a boobologist. Not a boobologist. Major in boobolosophy? I'm all about, no, I'm not about that. I'm about that. <laughs> Does that make it better or do I seem like a real jerk So you're now? a buttologist. Yeah, but I didn't want to say it like that because I know how people are going to perceive it. And once again, the rumors will begin. Oh, yeah. And a mighty cry went up from the West End. Okay, and uh, Angelina Jolie strutted onto the stage and bam! And into the pop famous culture pose. fame. Now, I have to say, this is the first time, by the way, she is so thin, it's alarming. Yeesh. Uh, she actually freaks me out. I've been having this debate with a bunch of friends. A lot of men are saying that because I think men's like not attractive. Love her. She's beautiful. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, but she looks unhealthy. She a was hot bit. during the Billy Bob Thornton phase, and I think she still is a gorgeous woman. But it wouldn't be so. But let's get back to her leg. It is the it... first time I've ever uh, heard Angelina Jolie really made fun of. Yeah. Uh, it's funny, but it's actually hilarious because the Twitter, pose. Uh... Yeah, she's got a Twitter. Her right leg has a Twitter Angie's account. Angie's right leg, and it's got 30 some odd thousand. Uh, so you can hits follow her leg. It's quite funny. And uh, of course, people have been having fun photoshopping the leg. It's called leg bombing. It's actually become an internet <laughs> meme. So Yay, let's look internet. at some of the leg bombs. That's, <laughs> that's a good one. And uh, of course, people are just doing it with anything. You know, Angelina Jolie's right leg could really turn up so anywhere. Funny. Classic yeah. painting. You name it. So if you want <laughs> to make great. one, if you want to have fun with Photoshop, Shop, it, tweet us your Angelina Jolie right leg. I wish it was closer to Halloween, because you could just add a second leg. Oh, that's leg, a good costume black idea. Black dress, second leg. You wait, that that might have legs to last until Halloween. We'll okay, we're going to check goes. in with Elise at Rock 101. Here she is. Hey, guys. Well, this week is a week for the people that like the number of the beast. You know what that is? Maybe? Possibly? Do you know what band I'm talking about then? Iron Maiden, baby. They're coming to town July 29th. They'll be playing at the Pacific Coliseum, and we're beating the box office all week long on the Bro Jake Show, so don't miss out. Very cool. I know there's a ton of fans out there, include myself in that, and they fly their own plane around. Wow. They have the Iron Maiden plane. That's cool. And one of the guys, like, he's the actual pilot. The number of the beast. It's pretty awesome. 666. True story. I used to live at 666 West 13th Avenue. Try P.S. There. Just really quickly, I know on Rock 101, a lot of people are trying to win their way into our, uh, our mountain hockey classic, and I cannot be bought. Totally. <laughs> I'm buying my way, and we're going to take Do a break. Do not send me money. And when we return, we're going to be joined by... Act what was this? That was send me money. That's a really rude gesture <laughs> in some cultures. <laughs>